Gemini, this is your March tarot reading. It is coming from the mountains of Java, but you'll see the opening page is a picture, is a video of the uh, Bangkok amulet market, and that's because I'm using a Thai amulet for luck in this divination. Gemini, March's reading is all about love. Because if you look at that middle card, Ace of Cups, love, almost certainly a new love. And a, and a wonderful love. Uh, in the recent past, we have the Nine of um, Pentacles. You were blessed with many things. But if you look, she's by herself. So maybe you were without a partner. So in March, you're getting that partner. But right now, you're putting up barriers to it. The self-restrictions, the Eight of Swords. Now, I don't know why, but you're putting up barriers. In the future, you begin to score some victories, some public recognition for the victories. What are those victories over? I don't know. Um, and the... Ah, I'm beginning to see things. Okay, the, the energy impacting on the outcome is the nine of um, nine of wands that's you sort of looking back over what you've done um, looking back over your highs and lows you're nearly at the end of something but not quite and it could be about you putting up barriers because of the card that would change the outcome is the um, is it a six one, two, three, four, five, six of swords, which means you need to move on and, and, and dump some baggage. But I don't think you do that. So I think that's from a, a previous relationship and you've not dumped the baggage from it and that's, that's causing problems for this relationship. Um, but I, I think either way, you, you will get to realise this because of the outcome is the Page of Swords, which is you have a realisation, some information comes to you that's going to be important. So even though, you know, this, if you could dump the baggage quicker and move on, you'd be better off. But I think the information does eventually come to you that you need. Gemini, the, the um, reading is about love. I think it's a good love. I think it's a new love. It's the Ace of Cups. You look at it, it feels divine. The hand's got that sort of cloud behind it like it's divine. Um, the cup has wings like it's divine. A bluebird is dropping a coin into the water or, or into the cup, but that's spilling over into the lake, which has water hyacinth on it. So, it, it feels divine, it feels great. We've had one or two readings recently for people uh, where it feels great at first, but it isn't. I'm not too certain that's, that it, that's how I should read yours. It's because people are falling in love with narcissists. And there does appear to be an outpouring of narcissism in the world. I personally think it's to do with the restrictions of the health crisis, well, I, I just think that the world is dominated by narcissism now and so much narcissism is coming out. I don't think yours is about narcissism, but we'll see. In the past, we have the Nine of Pentacles. This is a card of multiple blessings, multiple blessings from the universe. You look at her, she's in that wonderful garden. She's got pentacles around her, so she's got plenty of, probably plenty of material wealth. Is it a vineyard? Yes, it is. Now, vines, I, I've never seen grape vines. I'm sure they do have them in Indonesia, but I've never seen them. They've got to be fairly rare. So to have a vineyard must be wonderful. Uh, there's those uh, Balinese umbrellas that look a little bit like fly agaric mushrooms. And there's a Hindu, a Buddhist, Buddhist temple in the background. She's just holding her hand up and a bird comes and lands on it. So, you know, it's like you've got everything. But the one thing you 
don't appear to have is a partner on this. So in the past, you know, you had everything, but you were alone. And it looks like somebody is coming to you. I've just had a thought. Your current energy is this Eight of Swords, which is you putting up barriers. You may be blocking this blessing of a new love. You look at her, she's blindfolded. The tide, I think he's going out, but if it's coming in, it would be dangerous. If she, and the swords are behind her, if she was to take the blindfold off, she'd see that wonderful village up there. Now, you know, it might be a struggle to get to the village. Nobody's saying that it's going to be easy. Uh, but that's what she needs to do. She needs to take away those barriers and, and, and grab her, grab her, her, her new blessing. A new blessing that's going to make her happy. And that's what you're not doing. You're not grabbing this love that the universe is offering to you. And we now have the six of wands, which is you scoring some victories. Now, these are victories in battles rather than wars. So I, I think the universe is handing you this opportunity of love and it's it's a divine opportunity, but you've still put it up those barriers. You, you're reducing them slightly and this there's public recognition of this victory as well, I should add. Um, you're, you are reducing them slightly. Maybe you do meet a few people that you rather like, you know, but you're still holding back somewhat. So you're, you, you are getting better, but you're not, you're not fully pulling down those barriers, if you ask me. And this is the energy of the future. Now, where do those barriers come from? Well, I think we know because of the card that impacts on the outcome is the Nine of uh, Wands. The Nine of Wands is you, you know, the lessons you've learned from the past. So you're putting up barriers because you've burnt your finger in the past in terms of love. Haven't we all? Haven't we all? But the only way you find a new love is you know, to approach the new love again with a wide-eyed innocence because that's what love's all about, making mistakes because only by only by, by taking a bite of the cherry do you experience it really. God, was that a bad metaphor? Probably. I didn't mean anything dirty in that, by the way. You're looking back on the past and he's reminiscing. You know, you're nearly there. You're nearly there. The nine is near a ten. The ten is the ending of a cycle. You, you've nearly, very, very nearly got there. But not quite. Now, what would change things for you? It's the six of swords. So that's you moving on and dumping the baggage. So dumping the baggage from these past relationships that <coughs> clearly have made you put up barriers. <coughs> now, this is telling you to do it quickly, but I think you get there anyway. So I, 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 it would be great if you learnt this lesson, uh, but I don't think you need to do it. You know, I don't think, well, you can do it either sooner or later. And this is telling you to do it sooner, I suppose, is how we should, should read it. But, you know, yeah, um, I, I think things end up well, whatever. And the outcome is the Page of Swords. This is you full of, full of energy, full of new ideas, full of passion, maybe. Ah, I see the subtle difference. I see the subtle difference now. So, one way of approaching this is to get rid of the baggage uh, and move on from whatever the past has, has created. And the second is to ju just throw yourself into this new love. Now, it, it's just struck me of a circumstance, and I'm not saying this is your circumstance, it's just an illustration. But supposing you're an elderly person and your former partner had died 
and the barriers are that nobody could replace them, then maybe you don't need to move on and dump the baggage. Maybe you just need to accept the change and embrace what the universe is offering you. I think we need some clarity, though. I'm going to seek clarity on this Eight of Swords. What are these barriers you're putting up? And the first card we get is the Four of Pentacles. You've become a bit miserly. I'll look into that later in, in a minute. Um, the second one is, I, I think you are trying to manifest love, even though you've got these barriers here. Yeah, because we've got the Magician. And the final one is, is it? A, it's an Eight of Pentacles, isn't it? You're learning something. I mean, this could be you learning a trade and you feel you can't look for love at the time. Could be. Let's look at each individually. And the, the first card of clarity on these barriers is the four of <coughs> pentacles, which is you being a bit tight with your money, a bit miserly. Now remember we had the Nine of Pentacles which said that you've got many blessings. And you know you're being a little bit careful. You don't want a gold digger. You know you're quite comfortable. And the last thing you want to do is give away half your money to a gold digger. So you're just being careful and that's quite natural. Uh, but it is a restriction on you finding love. next card of restrictions is this uh, magician card which is about you manifesting now I've realized that we could take this in a couple of different ways one is you might have been manifesting love but been putting too many restrictions on it and the universe simply can't fulfill it uh, but the other is you might have been manifesting sort of happiness or wealth or something like that you know you you can't you can't have everything you know manifest one thing at a time so your own manifestations are causing barriers to you finding this love and now we have the seven of pentacles which i call the apprenticeship card so it's, it's as though you're learning a skill or learning a trade so i mean you could be away you know at college and you don't find you can find love at college which is a bit bizarre or unless it was a sem seminary maybe i mean maybe you know uh Maybe you're away working and acquiring new skills somewhere like Saudi Arabia. You won't find love in Saudi Arabia. Or well, certainly not when I was there, you know. Um, or could it be... Uh, could it be that you've thrown yourself into some sort of learning, some sort of a course, and you just feel you're much too busy to have love in your life. You know, you're so dedicated to this. Whatever it is, you, you're putting up these restrictions, these barriers, and they don't need to be there. Uh, Gemini, the universe has blessed you with many things, including money, or including wealth, uh, but you don't have somebody to share it with, and you dearly love that. Uh, but what you don't realise is you're putting up barriers for it to happen. Those barriers are based on past experience. It, it might even be that you had a love and they died. And you don't want to get hurt again like that. But I'm not certain that's the right interpretation. But you know, you, you're, you're making any excuse for it. You're sort of manifesting other things. You... Maybe even have thrown yourself into learning something and are saying, oh, I'm much too busy right now to look for love. You know, you're making every excuse and the universe is wanting to give you love. The universe is, is wanting you to have love and it's a divine love. It's a great love. And, you know, you are making progress. You are making progress. You've scored some victories. You probably 
you know, do find some loves, but you don't want to take it too far at this moment because of these barriers that you've got. And people see you with others, but they don't realise these barriers. Um, <clears throat> I think what you've got to do, I mean, sorry, there's, there's two ways of approaching this. Uh, one is just to throw yourself into this new love, and believe me, it is a divine love. It's been sent by the universe to make you happy. So just, just get rid of those barriers, basically. The other is that maybe, maybe because you were hurt in the past, you need to dump the baggage. You need to move on and dump the baggage because of what you don't want to do is carry forward any problems from past relationships into this new and divine love that the universe is offering you. Now, you will know better than me your circumstances and which is the best way to approach it. Uh, but what I can tell you is there is a divine love on offer and you need to grab it. And whether that involves getting rid of baggage, I'm not sure. <laughs>